what is good water signs welcome back to divine alchemy with me autumn and i just want to do a little check in on you guys to kind of tap in and see where you guys are at and see if you're feeling down see how you're feeling see how you're doing good like just kind of give you the tea so i'm going to give you general and then i'm going to give you your love all right so i've already pre-pulled your base of your cards okay but fire signs as you know this is a general collective read so take only whatever resonates and leave the rest okay so if you ordered any personal readings from me they're already out if you are interested in a personal personal reading i've switched to etsy my shop is in the description box below all right thank you so much for your support and i hope that you guys are doing well wherever you are in this world okay fire sign not fire sign oh you could be dealing with a fire sign mm. okay water signs okay or you could have fire in your chart or if you do have fire in your chart you may want to check out the fire sign reading all right so your oracle card is this is the energy i was picking up you guys i love when me and spirit are like this <laughs> so your oracle card is do not dim don't dim to fit in how are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Okay, so that resonates with me. If you guys don't know, I am a water sign. All right. So for your base for, uh, water signs, we have the eight of swords. We have the three of wands in reverse. We have the king of swords in reverse. We have the knight of swords in reverse. We have the page of wands in reverse. We have the magician oh and then we got one more for you guys and then we have the fool card interesting energy water signs okay all right water signs so water signs i'm getting that it it doesn't happen the way that you think it's supposed to happen because your way the way it's going to happen for you is going to be different from the other people that you are looking at okay so i feel like you water signs are failing to see your opportunities you're seeing because i feel like you're acting from some page and night energy so you're not standing in your assertiveness especially if you are on the way to manifesting something or doing something i'm hearing important or specific it's like you have a lot of self delusions is what i'm hearing or something about you telling yourself certain stories that are not true so i'm getting a lot of i'm not good enough or i'm not beautiful enough i'm not confident enough why would this person ever pick me or why would this work out for me i'm getting that you're looking back on certain things that may have not worked in the past so say if you are in the middle of trying to build a business and you're thinking about all the other times that you started businesses that may have not succeeded in the way that you wanted instead of saying i'm you know a badass for trying again you're thinking like oh but the last seven businesses that i tried didn't work instead of focusing that you're starting from a different point and you know exactly what to do so i'm getting for even some of you if you have manifested great things in the past and you have definitely moved on from those things it's like you're having a hard time accepting that you are or that your words or something like that something may have happened to knock your confidence down and it's like now you have a hard time speaking your truth or you feel you're looking at everyone else i feel like this is what it is because we have a lot of sword energy out here you guys are overthinking over intellectualizing over um even like emoting so it's like something about you're telling yourself and using emotions behind it you know that's how we manifest things guys especially the things that we do not want if we continue to think about those things consistently and add a certain emotion behind them then of course we do not get to see those things come into fruition okay so i feel like you are don't realize that you are manifesting consistently especially we have this gemini energy out here so which is a, with a lot of this air energy so you are in manifestation mode but with this passion that you're bringing with all this fire energy so with this air and fire it's like you're bringing in a lot of this passionate energy behind the things behind the self-deception behind the non-assertiveness the standing up for what you want and it's like you don't see that the new start that is happening 
is already taking form rooting in this way of you talking about yourself like oh i'm not good enough or oh these things didn't happen before or why does this ever happen to me or whatever you the bs excuses you tell yourself basically so it's like you're using emotion behind that all right so let's see your oracle cards okay so we have tolerance we have connect we have essence we have guidance we have peace and we have karma. Hmm. Okay, water signs. All right. So, yes. Okay, so you're using your essence or your thought process, your subconscious, I'm getting. Your subconscious is doing a lot of the work, okay? So it's like you're not connecting to your subconscious. You're not connecting to your mind and heart coherence. You're not getting it on the same page. It's like you're either up in your head and then you stay in your head with the eight of swords. Um, that self-delusion, it's like you can't even form the picture of what you want in the background. And it's like you're straining yourself to try to make something happen. And it's like you're using too much intellect. But you're also using the energy that you feel that it's not working out is the driving factor. And you've built up such a tolerance to thinking this way, okay? So it's something about this week that you're having to work through some things. You're having to work through the feelings that you're feeling. Because it's, you definitely have built a tolerance to things not working out or, or seeing the opposite even if things are going your way it's like you have that um opposite effect where you, all you can see is the negative things okay and i'm getting that this is something karmic that you're having to go through because it cannot exist where you are heading okay so with this karma all right so it's like you're this is and if this feels extremely intense water signs it's because you are meant to deal with it now okay so with this karma it's like pushing up against every emotion that you have and it's coming up because it wants you to realize and realize where you can change this thought process into the correct thought process so it's all about transmuting your thoughts water signs all right so yeah you need to be thinking peacefully okay so I'm hearing spirit is giving you the guidance all right so everything that you're feeling right now is the guide okay so if you're feeling the negativity that is the guide to look at something deeper okay so something about getting rid of your thought process in the way of you thinking that everything is working against you okay so something about thinking at it from a place of peace water signs so not overthinking not over intellectualizing not overly trying to place meanings on things at this point in time okay yeah something about your stability so if you're overthinking okay i'm getting that you cannot think about what you want if you're always thinking about what you do not have okay so i'm getting for some of you your finances have definitely been i'm hearing strapped all right but it's like you really want to make a certain amount of money or you're really hoping to make a certain amount of money something about your stability is being challenged all right but also with the king of wands here okay yeah using that okay i'm hearing a lot of force okay so that's what i'm getting you're acting from force so i'm also getting power versus force by david r hawkins that book that's a really great book if you struggle with trying to make things happen instead of getting into flow okay so with that king of wands right on top of that piece it's like you're making action your priority instead of making yeah you're making action in your mental thoughts priority over your emotions and and are you moving in that direction of what you want it's like you're thinking like oh okay i know in my heart that i can have this but i'm also thinking of the fact that i do not have this right now so it's a lot of self-deception it's a lot of things that you tell yourself and it you're, the things that you want will not be able to come in because you are consistently thinking of the fact that it's not here right now you're looking out into your reality and seeing what you do not have okay so with the nine of wands and the nine of swords we got nine nine but i'm also getting nine 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 this way is done for you this type of cycle is done for you and i feel like it's so strong on you right now that you cannot see it and so that's where the contradicting behaviors come from okay yeah with the queen of wands okay so it's a lot of fire energy a lot of passion behind this i think you're placing too much importance too much meaning on what this new start actually looks like for you 
okay that you're creating more chaos where there is none all right so you're infusing okay something about okay water signs i'm getting that you are not even in that space that you once were before and it's like you can't help but bring some of those energies into this new phase excuse me so it's something about you're not walking away from that yet yeah, with more like of this Gemini energy, okay, with the lovers in reverse, okay? So it's like you're clinging, something about clinging to the past, okay? The two of swords and the page of pentacles in reverse, okay? So it's like you're not accepting this new start. It's like you're blind to the fact that this new, so or something is hidden. With, I'm seeing with that moon on the back on the two of swords, it's like something is hidden right now from you. You have the hermit card, okay? Yeah, it could be dealing with the Virgo, so Virgo may be significant, or that's where that over-intellectualizing is taking place, yeah, this Five of Cups, okay? So you feel drained, and you feel like you have nothing, but knowing that it's like somewhere deep down, it's like you've done this before, you know that you have everything that you need to make it happen, so it's like you don't, it's like you're confused on what to take action on, so it's like you're taking action at everything instead of waiting and moving in, but moving in that direction that you want to move in, okay? So I'm hearing to not dim yourself to fit in because it's, you're thinking now you have all this open space is what I'm getting water signs. So sorry, the messages keep coming in fast, okay? So I want to say that you have all this open space, like a canvas, I'm seeing a blank canvas, and you can go in and paint it however you want to paint it, but you are not because you are trying or you're looking out at what other people have and it's causing you to be confused about your own path water signs okay so yeah we've got that chariot in reverse okay so definitely cancer energy so yeah you're not being patient for your turn okay so yeah you're not even moving towards your turn it's like something about you needing to be confident and moving forward in your confidence and it's like you're not taking that step because you're not being patient with yourself okay so i keep hearing divine timing i'm hearing that your time is coming but you first must feel that emotion and, and believe and act and move in that emotion. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so we got the King of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse. So yeah, it's something about you getting yourself, getting making up your mind exactly with this death card and the sun at the bottom okay so definitely like you're not making up your mind to allow whatever this is to transform you so you're not allowing you you to be in your fullness right now okay so i don't think that you realize water signs that you are no longer where you were before but it's like you bringing that into your reality because you will not allow yourself to reside in the reality that it is that you want so i'm hearing spirits say to be mindful and you don't have to do it in the way that everyone else is doing it so that's where the confusion is coming from because you are holding yourself back because you're thinking it's supposed to happen like how it happens for other people like you have to realize like things can happen for you in an instant okay and there's nothing wrong with that okay i think you realize for you things always miraculously work out for you water signs but it's like you think because okay well that may not be everybody else's thing something is wrong with that or i can't keep it long term like no some people just have a certain energy that goes and pushes out into the universe and it happens for them automatically okay so something about you getting back to the fact that you know that that happens for you and staying there all right so i hope that this resonates for your general water signs and we're gonna go on to doing your love portion <laughs> So I feel like that was definitely just really flowing through me because I feel like you're always manifesting water signs. So yeah, this is definitely beating down on you heart because it's a karmic type energy that you have to confront before you fully move forward, okay? So something about spirit is not giving you this whatever it is that you're wanting or you're holding it up because you are just holding on to certain beliefs about yourself that are not even true okay all right so let's get your love messages okay i'm also feeling like you're feeling better water signs so i'm hearing like you're feeling better because today is the start of the um what is it the time change so like we're springing forward now. so i feel like some of you 
water signs are now coming out of your shell. Something about like the winter time you like to go in your shell and you like to hibernate. So I feel like this time frame works really good for you, okay? I know it works really good for me. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got in love for my water signs, okay? I'm hearing water signs don't judge a book by its cover. What does that mean? Okay, three of pentacles. Do not judge a book by its cover. Cherry card, okay, cancer. Cancer energy here. Mm. Five of pentacles, okay. Okay, so why did I hear don't judge a book by its cover? Six of cups, nine of pentacles. Six of cups, hmm. So it's a lot of like you energy here. Four. Let's see, seven of cups and seven of wands. Okay. Hmm. Okay, okay. I'm getting that you're used to being an option. Okay. Some of you are used to being an option, and there's someone that is approaching you and you're having a hard time deciding or realizing that they really like you for you. You have the six of wands on in reverse on the bottom. So something about your confidence, you need to be more confident in yourself, okay? Because I think this person likes the fact that you are out doing your own thing, like you're minding your money, but you're also like pouring into yourself with the six of wands, uh, six of cups, excuse me. So it's like you are looking to pull yourself up. This You could be a cancer, but it's giving a lot of like nurturing energy, like you're nurturing yourself. So something about you, like definitely uh, after a time period of loss, it's like you are definitely learning to love yourself. Yeah, and this is a new start for you, okay? So something about you being different this summer, you could meet someone new in um, cancer season. But what I'm also getting is that once you start to move the needle moving forward it's something about not placing your expectation on material things or even like you're realizing your love for material things was holding you back right or something like a possessiveness over material things this is kind of leaking over from your general general reading something about you pouring into those material things has made you realize like okay the wealth is definitely coming from the inside okay so you're learning more about abundance but coming from internally but what i'm getting with this don't judge a book by its cover okay so someone that is coming up to you you may know this person or you may have had a thing with this person previously or you may have just known about this person but what you have known about this person is that they are a player that they always have more than one person Person, but that's not the case with this person at all okay this person actually is they like to date okay yeah this person likes to date uh, multiple people at one time but they really enjoy people's company and they like to get to know people okay so this person is more than just dating people they like to expand their network okay but this person really does like the way that you carry yourself but it's important for you water signs to not place so much expectation on this person or realize something it could be a fire sign but something about you um, realizing that you don't have to work hard to get this person's attention okay so something about when you pour into yourself i think you're starting to realize the more that you have a life how attractive that is to people and how much of attractive how much attracted that person is to you okay so i think you notice but this person is not saying anything but i'm also getting that you water signs are battling within yourself okay yeah with this ace of swords this person is not saying anything but i think you know the vibe or this is someone that has been pursuing you but there it's kind of like this person is giving that like i they're very self Assure this person is very self-assured that is coming up to you and it's giving that they they very much so like people or like feminines if this is a masculine pursuing you this person likes when people have confidence okay so they need to know that they don't always have to reassure you all the time it's giving the fact that 
I like you like it's giving like I don't need you but I actually genuinely like you so this person is like yeah so you have to, to fight those own thoughts with the devil all right so 15 turns into six so this is about that self-love like taking something about you need to take up space water signs that's what I heard loud and clear you need to take up space in your life okay something about being a wallflower or are you just like standing on the sidelines exactly with the hermit in reverse Spirit wants you to come out of hermit mode, okay? Because it's something about it doesn't serve you to stay on the sidelines, okay? Something about in your inner being, your inner knowing, you know that you're that that girl or that guy, like that bad, that bad gal, okay, is what I'm getting. Like you might like Rihanna or um, Rihanna is a Pisces. So it's like some of you like want to adopt that energy, that Pisces and that mysterious energy, okay? But yeah, with the Queen of Wands and this Ten of Cups, like your Ten of Cups comes because you are, something about you being fulfilled with in yourselves water signs is the game right now you need to be fulfilled in yourself because that's where love comes in okay because the love comes because you are in love with yourself you're in love with your life okay so yeah but the page of swords okay so something about you not doing the acting is very important or moving forward okay you have to allow this person to pursue you i think for some of you you have been so used to putting in effort to making relationships work but the fact that this person wants to pursue you and they're not doing anything at the moment kind of makes you nervous like oh, oh my gosh like am I good enough or does this person genuinely want to be with me this person does they just like confidence and they're like you know what like they like to take things slow okay so it's important that you get out of your mindset like that there's something about you thinking that this person may have had multiple people but even if they do all right even if they do like it's something about this being really fresh and this person is observing you you know they like you but it's something about you not putting too much expectation on it right now something about you needing to live your life to the fullest okay something about you presenting that you have a full life this 16 becomes a seven so a money abundance like something about you showing that you have a, an abundant life is going to attract the right person regardless if it's this person or not okay yeah so with the piscean energy with this hangman that's three so something about you getting creative okay and not dealing it's like okay don't even like force this person to see you i feel like this person sees you they pretend like they don't but i feel like you pouring into yourself it's like definitely like a cat and mouse game but it's like a cute cat and mouse game it's not like anything really like you know toxic you know what i'm saying so with this page of pentacles yeah this person is going to pursue you but there it's going to be like slow and i think that this is good for you because you're still building up your self water signs okay so i'm hearing that this person is coming in or this person may be around you right now all right this could be a fire sign a sagittarius yeah this could be someone that notices you through work or something like that yeah this person likes your mindset okay but i'm getting that you have to overcome the way that you think that love is or should be or the fact that you have to do so much work water signs sorry water signs the um camera died but um yeah it's not going to be like that with this person water signs so with something about you guys redoing the way that you see love the way that you feel like love should be okay so a lot of you are getting into your receptive energy but i feel like this is overall the work that you're doing in total okay yeah standing in your empress phase okay so water signs you don't need love in order to feel like someone um, loves or cares about you it's something about pouring into yourself and also seeing the abundance that you already have as far as in life you have people that love and care about you your friends your family you have a full life okay so it's important for you to be in love with your life and that puts you in that empress position okay and so then that makes this person desire to show up and really express and court you okay so something about you leaning back right now fire signs that is definitely going to get you in that mood for that person to chase you okay so I'm hearing that some of you would like that so much but it's like you're used to definitely putting in work or feeling like you have to put in work for people to see you but that's no more but this is also in love and in business endeavor this is life um, water sign so I feel like this karmic lesson overall is about how you're going to be adapting moving forward in your own personal life okay so it's going to also allow you to speak up more for yourself okay water signs so I love you so much water signs I hope that this reading resonated with you all right get down in the comments and let me know if it did all right and anything you want to know is down in my description box readings check out my new Etsy shop 
for your personal readings you guys follow me over on tiktok because you know i give the sauce over there daily <laughs> all right and i love you so much water signs i will see you in my next video ciao